Hello and welcome to Laurel, Maryland. I'm Mayor Craig Moe. As a leader and a resident of this community, I'm a firm believer in our city motto, progress through people. Hello and welcome to our Discover Laurel special, a place where you can live, work, and play. Laurel is participating in a statewide campaign highlighting economic development throughout Maryland. We'll celebrate the growth of the city on October 25th, Discover Laurel Day. Joining me now is Kim Clark, the president of MEDA, the Maryland Economic Development Association. Kim, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. So tell us about MEDA and your mission. So MEDA, the Maryland Economic Development Association, is a voluntary membership organization. It's statewide. And our members um, come from all come from various backgrounds. Many work for economic development entities, either state agencies or local municipalities, but we have many private members as well. We are around to help raise the awareness of economic development throughout the state and how economic development raises opportunities for our folks throughout the state. So what makes MENA different from other organizations? It is the only voluntary statewide economic development entity. Um, and again, it's voluntary, it's a membership organization, and we do uh, hold events statewide. So what type of members does MENA have? Again, MENA has members um, from the private sector, mm -hmm. from government, and from uh, local jurisdictions that have economic development entities, but also those that have community development entities, because mm -hmm. economic development really is community development as well. Great, so um, why is economic development important? So we like to say that economic development transforms lives. Mm -hmm. It does that by enriching communities, inspiring innovation, and creating opportunities for folks throughout the state. Um, when a small business opens up or even a large business um, moves to the state, that enables opportunities for folks and enables that business to grow, enables job opportunities and income opportunities for folks. Great. Um, so what is Economic Development Week? Economic Development Week is a week to raise awareness of economic development mm -hmm. for elected officials and for the general public. We hold events throughout the state. And with those events, um, they run from small events to larger events. So uh, for instance, we're gonna kick off that week by having a fall, the Meta Fall Conference at the Patuxent Naval Air Museum in Southern Maryland in St. Mary's County. And then we will also be having events throughout the state by the different associations and authorities throughout the state. So um, the TEDCO, uh, the Technology Economic Development Corporation mm -hmm. of Maryland, is having an entrepreneurship expo at the Hilton Hotel in Baltimore. Wow. Um, Worcester County is holding business outreach events throughout the week. Mm -hmm. There's also Tech at the Gap out at Rocky Gap. And of course, you're having your Discover Laurel Day. Yeah. So if anyone um, wants to learn more about these events or get involved, um, where can they go? They can go to our website, www.medamd.com. So that's www.medamaryland.com. Great. Thank you so much for being here, Kim, um, and telling us about the growth in the state of Maryland. Um, Kim Clark, the president of MEDA. Mayor Craig A. Moe will stop by to talk about all the economic development going on in the city of Laurel when we come back. Laurel's youth have a number of educational opportunities that provide solid foundations and encourage higher education as well. Prince George's County Public Schools serve nearly 130,000 students, including those living in Laurel. With enriching curriculum and engaging clubs, activities and sports, and knowledgeable instructors, students have every opportunity to excel. Parochial schools include First Baptist School of Laurel, St. Mary's Elementary School, and St. Vincent Pilate High School. Although the immediate area offers wonderful post-secondary institutions, easy access to Washington, D.C. and Baltimore provide additional options. At nearby Capital Technology University, students may earn associates to master's degrees in engineering, computer sciences, information technology, and business. Established in 1927, the college has a long, upstanding reputation within the community. Other colleges and universities nearby include Prince George's Community College, the premier university of Maryland College Park, Bowie State University, the U.S. Naval Academy, 
Laurel College Center, and a host of smaller colleges. Take advantage of Laurel's educational resources and experience true success. Welcome back to our Laurel TV Discover Laurel special. Joining me now is Mayor Craig A. Moe to talk about the economic development in the city. Mayor Moe, welcome to the show. This is a subject that shows us um, how we can work, live, and play in Laurel. Great. So um, economic development is important to the city because of job creation. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, keeps our citizens uh, working. Um, it expands our tax base here in the city, which again keeps uh, our taxes and our property taxes down. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's really a quality of life issue. I mean, it really, as I said earlier, it really does allow us to keep people um, involved in the community, working um, where they live, hopefully in some cases, um, but really the job creation and the tax base, and then there's a lot of things that feed off of that as well. Great. Um, so what are some developments that have taken place um, while you've been mayor? Well, we have the um, center at the um, Law Shopping Center, which is at um, Conti Road and Route 1. Uh, that was one of our first projects mm -hmm. we started with. Then we have the town center. With the town center comes uh, the regional, I mean, the uh, Regal movie theaters, um, the Harris Teeter, um, Old Navy, uh, several restaurants. And it is nice to kind of go through the restaurants and, and those uh, shops there and, and see the younger people uh, that live in Laurel, and uh, especially in the restaurants. Um, you know, I always ask where they go to school or where they, mm -hmm they live and a lot of people are uh, from the high schools around in the area so that's that's always good. And then we have our residential um, component as well so we have uh, the Wellingtons that are behind uh, mm -hmm. um, the uh, Laurel Lake Shopping Center and then some of the newer um, apartments that are up off of uh, Conterra Drive and and um, Van Dusen Road area so there's a there's a lot going on in Laurel mm -hmm. and um, we're not done yet. There's still uh, developers coming in to see us all the time about different projects. So it's important for us to um, listen to what they have to say and make sure it benefits our community. Yep, of course. Um, so if people want to see some of these developments, um, where can they go? Well, like I said, you can, um, the, the uh, development, the residential, you can go right up uh, past the hospital, mm -hmm. go on out and to Conterra Drive. There's two new developments there uh, on the right hand uh, side and one on the left hand mm -hmm. side. There is going to be a um, the uh, Laurel Lake Shopping Center and then the Wellingtons is behind that if you want to mm -hmm. see a residential uh, piece and um, you know with all of that I always like to remind people we have great parks and places to yeah, uh, put all those people that are coming into Laurel. So, And um, they should come out and see us on Discover Laurel Day as well. That's, cr that's right. Uh, Discover Laurel Day October the 25th Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be here, um, and I know you all have a full day's activity planned, and uh, I'm happy to see that, quite frankly. And uh, I've talked to a couple people who are excited about it as well, so I look forward to that day. and They'll get to see the many different things that are happening here in the city of Laurel that you all do day in and day out. Great. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us um, to talk about new developments in the city. When we come back, the city's director of economic and community development will be here to share information on how you as a business owner can be part of the economic growth in Laurel. Anybody can live in a neighborhood, but not everyone gets to reside within a true community. Our vast array of community organizations not only provide opportunities to give back, get involved and come together, they create a sense of pride for our city and continue to help forge the community our residents are proud to call home. Doing better by working together. Community starts here. Welcome back to our Discover Laurel special focusing on economic development across the state and here in the city. Here to explain about the city's economic and community development goals is Christian Pooley. Ms. Pooley is the director of Laurel's Department of Economic and Community Development. So Christian, that's definitely a mouthful. It definitely is. Um, what does the Department of Economic and Community Development do? Well, the department is responsible for the built environment for the city of Laurel. Therefore, we review and update the comprehensive master plan. The plan not only provides a vision for the city, but also a long-range planning tool to provide a well-balanced and cohesive community. We also are responsible for planning and zoning, subdivision review, historic preservation, affordable housing, and what we're here to talk about today, economic development. 
Great. So what economic development goals is the department um, working on now? Well, currently we're still focusing on revitalization for our Main Street area. We have the Main Street Relocation Grant Program as well as the Commercial Facade Program for property owners and business owners that want to either relo relocate to Main Street or enhance their property. And now we're also starting to focus on the commercial corridor for Route mm -hmm. 1, where we want to eliminate vacant commercial space. So what kind of incentives um, are for the Route 1 commercial corridor? Some of the incentives for property owners as well as business owners mm -hmm. there are tax credit opportunities as well as reduced building and per permit fees. Okay, great. Um, and why would a business uh, want to move to the city of Laurel? Well, the city is definitely a growing city with a small town feel. We have a little over 26,000 residents mm -hmm. currently. We have 11 shopping centers within the city, right. several parks, a couple community centers. We have approximately over 18 city events throughout the year. Mm -hmm. The location is awesome. We're exactly 21 miles between Baltimore and D.C. We have easy access within the city from either 295, 95, Route 1, 29 is close by, 198, we have a marked train station. Also, the affordability with neighboring jurisdictions, the city is not only a place to start a business, but to live, work, and play as well. Great. So um, if people want to learn more about starting a business in the city, um, where can they go? Well, definitely the first stop is always to visit the city's website. We have a wealth of information on there, not just for our department, but for all the departments throughout the city. Mm -hmm. And also they can call the department and speak with either a planner or our economic development coordinator. But most importantly, come out to Discover Laurel Day on October 25th. Great. Well, thank you so much for being here to talk not about some of the economic development in the city. Thanks for having me. And remember, Discover Laurel Day is October 25th. It's from 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. And if you'd like to participate, you can email me at l-s-t-e-e-l-e -E -E at laurel.md.us. Thanks again for watching our Discover Laurel special, a place where you can work, live, and play. See you on the 25th.